Then my uh, uncle, my my mother's uh, the uh, younger brother, mm -hmm. he who, he is communist, retired then, mm -hmm. and then I asked what happened to uh, my mother. Mm -hmm. He was hesitant; they didn't say anything. It was a bit of, you know, very bad feeling in my mind. But then we are, we came into down uh, Pyongyang to Kori Hotel. Then I had, am able to sit down with my uncle like you. Mm -hmm. What happened to mother? Yeah. Because I, when I came from America, they said that your mother is there, still there. He said my mother died two months ago. Mm. Yeah. Now this is the but I still do not know because. Remember that when I went to Pyongyang, there was what, 89, 50, uh, 39, almost 40 years after I went. Remember, I left 13, mm -hmm. so it will be, what, how, many, how old will I be, 54, something like that. So I was uh, trying to figure out how my mother would have looked like, mm -hmm. because got old, 40 more, more years old, mm -hmm. but with the same face I remember, so far, so far, you know. But anyway, um, when I got the picture, I couldn't really recognize my mother, mm. honestly. But when I went to tomb, in, in the, so, uh, uh, and then I uh, went to the, uh, a place where my uh, mother lived most, almost her life, you know, with, um, uh, that's my, is that my nephew? My, uh, oh, uh, my father's older brother's daughter. So what, is that nephew? Yeah, I think so. Well, he, anyway. That's where she lived, mm -hmm. and then I heard all the stories about it, and what, what they're saying is this, because I had news from a friend of mine in Tokyo in, uh, in July, because I was in LA vacation time. Mm -hmm. They said, I got a visa, so go to Beijing, uh, North Korea, but then you can go to Pyongyang. But I was sitting in USA, you have this night school called graded school. I don't know if you know, mm -hmm. that the graded school, it is started by President Roosevelt mm -hmm. for particularly for federal employees who came to federal government mm -hmm. but working different subjects than what they majored in college. Like uh, when I was teaching, I was teaching international trade. I had a lot of guys like uh, study engineering and then Russians and then, but they were working congressmen and then senator, Bob Dole, all, all kind of people. So there was a night school, still is. USGA graduate school, it's uh, not by, uh, far away from here. So I taught that many years, moonlighting, you know, because my income is not bad myself. So I committed, so I couldn't go right away because I heard September, July, but September through early December I was teaching. Mm -hmm. So I told them, I'm going to go right up to the end of the se semester, mm -hmm. which I did. Mm -hmm. I left the here uh, December 10th of 1989. Mm -hmm. Okay. So whenever I go, so when I went up there, I uh, talked to my uh, uncle, and then I found out from then my, my mother died. Mm -hmm. So I went, uh, canceled my two weeks plan, and I said I want to stay just one week. From Pyongyang, I called my mother, my, my wife in Bethesda. Sorry to say this, but my mother is not here. I came all the way here searching for six years. They said my mother died. Then that. Messi going to Seoul, my brother, my father. Later on, I went up about, uh, I, after I come back, went to uh, uh, Seoul, uh, maybe six months later, eight months later. My, you know, my father saying, this is not your mother. This is not my, my wife. They just brought you up there to take advantage of you. I, I couldn't say yes or no. I don't know, because I cannot really remember my mother's face. But my brother, two years older than me, believes that his mother. So I was just telling my father, Daddy, you are wrong. Look at this, look at all the pictures. Anyway, so finally we convinced him it's uh, his wife. Isn't that tragic? Mm -hmm. Sad yeah. story. Yeah. So, um, but I would be able to visit my homeland. My brother who died in uh, Auckland was telling me, at least you did it as your son, you did your job. <laughs> look at me, I couldn't go, but you went for me. I'm thanking for you, for that kind of thing. And um, it's a very sad story all the way around. I mean, you know, again, when my father died in 87 in Seoul, he kept saying that I wanted to visit my homeland. 
and see your mother or somebody else, I want to visit, but I couldn't do it and he died. My brother, same thing. He really wanted to go home and see, but he couldn't do My guess is this is really happening now, and the reason I am here is that, you know, I left at 13, and I am now just, you know, just past my American age, 73, I am 74, but look at all the Korean Americans here. You saw that uh, uh, reunion in Seoul, I mean, Kumgang, Kumgang the resort. Mm -hmm. Look at the, how old they are. Yeah. Did you see the old? Of course, it's tragic that they have to say bye-bye again, however, before they die, at the least they see, oh, you're my son, oh, you're my dad, oh, you're my sister. Yeah. And then the, I think there are so many Korean Americans who are looking for this kind of situation.